hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a free rdp in microsoft azure uh, or a virtual machine in uh, microsoft azure control pen so first of all you should uh, have in a microsoft azure account so uh, make sure that you are registered in uh, microsoft azure so here is the, uh, the home page uh, here you can click on start free if you are uh, signing up first time so this process is very simple so this rdp is completely free but uh, as my, uh, microsoft wants uh, your credit or debit card uh, to be entered before uh, creating the rdp let's see how we can create the rdp so first of all i will log in with my username and password this is the uh, main control panel as you can see here a uh, notification pop-ups stating that 200 USD uh, credit remaining so that means that once you create a account of uh, Microsoft Azure you will get 200 US dollar uh, credit limit to be utilized within one month in order to create the virtual machine just click on virtual machines and here you can see I have already created one uh, virtual machine uh, this is the name of computer this is the type uh, this is subscription type and this is resource group and this is the location and uh, its status and uh, operating system what kind of windows uh, operating system is running either it's windows linux ubuntu or etc and here you can see the ip address now if you are going to create a new uh, virtual machine all you have to do is just click on create azure virtual machine here you can see create a virtual machine there are different uh, apps here but you don't need to uh, do things uh, in all the main tab is this one here what you have to do uh, the first thing subscription will remain as it is and here you have to create a resource group so if you are creating first time here you have to click create new and uh, name anything and then uh, uh, select here so since I have created already a one RDP so I will choose from my existing one here you have to put the uh, your uh, virtual machine name I will name it as a RAS1 now the main most important thing is region here you can select US if you select East US it will give you the IP of Washington DC now here uh, keep as it is these two options availability options and security type as it is and under the image you have to select so in this drop and down options as you can see you can select uh, your operating system uh, it's uh, completely up to you there are many choices here Linux Ubuntu Windows Server 2022 and Windows Server 2019 data center version and at the bottom you can also find the Windows 10 and Windows 11 so I will select uh, Windows 10 rest all will be remain same as it is so uh, in the next drop and down menu here i have to select the ram and processor of my windows all right so its cost is 91.98 per month here uh, i have to create a username and password uh, so under administrator account you have to enter your username and password username is required to connect your rdp and the password should be uh, strong enough uh, that it can't be uh, guessable or it shouldn't be a simple password so just type password and then uh, repeat the password again remaining all setting will be same nothing have to change so here under the licensing just check this box and uh, click review plus create here it will give you the pop-up of deployment recommendation so just ignore it if you see on the top it's written validation passed that means the all steps are fine so we are good to go uh, further so all you have to do is just review the settings again once and then uh, at the bottom you have to click create so as you can see deployment is in progress so this process is a bit lengthy it might take some time now as you can see the deployment is completed successfully and here uh, at the bottom you can see go to resource so just click go to resource so in the next step it will take you to the main dashboard of your RDP where you can see the different kind of details your IP address and uh, other things so here is your RDP IP 
so uh, you can copy directly from here or if you can write down in the notepad through this IP you can connect to your RDP uh, via remote desktop connection I copied the IP already and I will paste in remote desktop connection app and hit the connect here we have to put the username and password username and password which we created before while uh, creating the RDP set and the password which we created click yes as you can see now we are connected uh, to our uh, newly created RDP uh, with the, uh, its public IP and uh, we can use uh, internet we can install any kind of a programs out there so if you have any question regarding the uh, Microsoft Azure RDP do let me know in the comment section and that's it for today see you inshallah in next video